Welcome back friends. Today we have a quick and easy project. It's making a picture frame out of a hockey stick. So I have this Montreal stick right here and I, it has a crack in it. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to cut it up and make a picture frame. So I'm going to show you just some quick steps and some things that I recommend for doing this. And I'm excited to revisit this project again because the last time I did it, I was probably like 21 or 22 years old and I used a radial arm saw, which was something I was never trained on. And that is probably like the most dangerous power tool that I've ever used. So now I'm excited because I have some other Milwaukee power tools I'm gonna be using to cut this up. And I think it's really gonna look pretty cool. All right, so let's get some power tools out here, and get started. For this project, I was looking at a way to keep it really simple and I went shopping today and I found this picture frame, I think it was on clearance for like $1.79 or something like that. So I want to do an 8x10 and this has the glass, it has a mat if I want to use a mat, I'm not sure if I do yet. And then it also has the backer right here that I can use. And I do have a tool that I'll show you in a little bit that puts these little uh, insert things in, I forget what they call them. I'll just show you how that works. And then what I can do is just use the measurements from here to keep it really quick and easy. So I just need to make sure that I use this right here as my template and then I'll mark it on here and start doing some cutting. What I'm gonna do is just rip this whole thing on my table saw. So I could use some dado blades, but I decided that I'm just gonna try with my table saw. So we're gonna have it set in a half inch there. And then this way right here will go in a quarter inch. So we're gonna just see if we can cut that section out right there so that way it will match something like this, and then the glass will set down in there. So I think what I'm gonna do first is just cut this off right there. I'm gonna take some tape off on the end there. That way we have this whole thing to work with. It's been a while since I used this stick. Almost there. First thing we're gonna do is dial this in at a half inch. I'm gonna have the natural wood on the inside and then red on the face and then on the outside too. Okay, so this I only want a quarter inch right here. I want it to go down a half inch. We're gonna have to move inside pretty soon. So I have this cut down there. So now I just need to go down and cut in right there. So I went a little deeper than I want it to, but you know, that's okay. I think it's gonna look good. We're gonna get the miter saw, cut this real quick and then bring it inside. Yeah, that's gonna turn out nice. Okay, so it's really easy. This is eight by 10. So I just, I'm gonna cut from the inside of this right here. I think I will make this eight right here. And what I really love about this saw right here, it has that shadow light. So I need to cut right on there. This just really makes it easy. And okay, this might be the top. It might be the bottom, we'll see. 45, we gotta cut this off right here. Well, we're losing part of the word Montreal, but that's, yeah, that's the way it's gonna work. Okay, so this is gonna be 10 inches. We're gonna barely have enough to work with. So you can't screw up any of the cuts. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna assemble this right here, first thing I'm gonna do is use some wood glue. So this is a Type Bond 3, the ultimate, and it is the top rated number one by pros with superior strength. And I'm also gonna use the Milwaukee 23 gauge pin nailer right here. This is the M12 nailer right here. So what I'm gonna do is try inch and a quarter pin nails right here, they're headless pin nails. So I'm gonna put two going this way and two going that way. So each corner is gonna get four inch and a quarter pin nails. So we're gonna see how that works. 
So I'm gonna put wood glue on each corner right here, and then I'm going to clamp it, and then I'm going to put the pin nails in, and then I'm just gonna move it around. So I'm not gonna actually let the glue dry. I'm using these pin nails to hold it. Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and hope that this method works well. This is gonna be like the fast way to build it, so we'll just see, and then we're gonna let the glue dry overnight, and then we can test it for strength. All right, so let's start at this corner right here. I'll put the glue. Oh, maybe it went a little heavy there. So I'm just gonna. Get a, oops, sorry, dripping. Yep, that drove it in far enough. Yeah, it's really pretty strong. I'm not, you know, I'm gonna let that glue set up in there, but so far I am really happy with the way that pin nailer is holding on. Yeah, that looks like a really nice fit there. Let's dry fit this piece. All right, that looks good. All right, can you see where the pin nails went in right there? Or this side right there, that's a little bit beat up. These pin nails really hide well. But let's hope this is square. That just fits. All right, that's nice and snug. Now I gotta clean the fingerprints off. So I wanna put a mat in there, I can do that. That might look kinda nice. This is a piece that goes on the back. If you're into doing some picture framing, this little tool right here is called a points driver. Kinda looks like a staple gun, but it actually shoots these little tabs out. So this is a store-bought picture frame. So these little tabs right here that you can flip up, that right there, is what it shoots these little things. So watch this, they're called these points. So if you can see those little tabs right there, so they just, they're holding that paper, but if I wanna flip them up, just get your fingernail underneath them. Well, we're gonna have to go over here. So now I have two of the points on each side right there. So you can see it's definitely going nowhere. And the nice thing is buying a picture frame pre-existing using the components of it. So for less than $2, I have the little hook right here. So I wanna hook it that way. So I can do portrait, I can do landscape style. So put it on a desk, hang it on a wall. So it's got everything that I need. All right, friends, so here is the finished product. What do you think? Okay, so I have a question for you. If you're into playing hockey, what is your favorite brand of hockey stick? So for me, you can probably tell which brand that I like. All right, so if you have any questions about this build, please let me know. If you wanna see some links down below to some of the tools I use, like this new Milwaukee M12 23 gauge pin nailer. This has only been out for about five months now, so I'm really loving this. All right, the last thing I can say is I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you find it interesting, helpful, and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.